this year across our world, Remembrance Day and Remembrance Sunday gatherings are very different. Sadly, here at the parish church, we are not able to hold our civic Remembrance Sunday service as usual, but are pre-recording this act of remembrance so that you can connect with us virtually, if not in reality. I'm Pauline Bicknell, the vicar here, and I'm standing in the Derby Chapel of the parish church with its military standards, windows which depict countries involved in the First World War and the roles of honour. I'll use some of the words from the Remembrance Sunday service. There'll be a period of silence, the Lord's Prayer, an act of commitment and a blessing. We meet in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to working penitence and faith, for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may live together in freedom, justice and peace. And we pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken away. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Let us pray. Ever living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storms of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The prayer of commitment. Lord God our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all mankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. And our final prayer of blessing. May God grant the living grace, the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth, and all people, unity, peace, and concord, and to us and all his servants, life everlasting. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.